Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today on this video, I'm going to lace y'all up, put y'all up on some game <clears throat> that I feel everybody out there should know. It's very important. If you don't know this, you're out there lacking. You know, there's a lot of people who be saying, like, don't snitch. Snitching ain't cool, yada, yada, yada. But they also don't lace people up on the games that the police play. They don't lace people up on the rights that they have. And so a lot of people who get questioned by the police, they end up not knowing their rights. And so they end up making these confessions, sometimes even false confessions that will like result in them being wrongly convicted or result in them, you know what I mean, getting tripped up by these detectives who are professionals at doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Getting information up out of you. And so, if you don't go in there, you know what I'm saying, with your game tight, when you get caught up for some bullshit or some criminal type shit, you're bound to end up making a mistake. You're bound to end up saying something stupid. You feel me? So, on today's video, I just want to lay y'all up when I was a youngin', you know what I mean? I ran away from home when I was 10, joined my gang. And when I ran away and I joined a gang, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I had a homeboy named Batman who was a hot boy in the hood. Like, he was out there. He was a breath of a homie. He was always in the mix, always participating, always on the front line about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, very charismatic, very influential homie. He had very big major leadership skills. He just, he just, He just had a way about him. And because of that, the police was always on his bumper. And I remember this one time in particular when uh, there was a lot of things going on in the hood and the Asian gang task force and the Asian gang detectives were like knocking on his door, coming up in his house, questioning him, trying to question him the whole night, whatever, whatever. And they were persistent, constantly trying to highlight him. And uh, I remember one night after they got done, like running up in his spot, he came out of his house and we was hanging out down on the block and he took me to the side and he gave me the most important game, the most precious game that anyone could have gave me in my gangbang career, you know what I'm saying, at that time. And what he told me was, whenever the police or the detectives question you, you have the right to plead the fifth. And I was 10, 11 years old at the time. I'm like not knowing nothing about no law, not knowing nothing about no plead the fifth. Like what the hell are you talking about, bro? Right? So he told me like, you know, when you get locked up or you get arrested, your know, police, they supposed to ask you off top, like you have the right to remain silent, whatever you say or do can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present, yada, yada, yada. That's the spiel that they supposed to tell you, but don't get it twisted these cops are crooked and they don't always tell you this they don't always read you your rights so the homie laced me up and he told me anytime you get arrested off top tell the police read you your rights excuse me mr officer could you please read me my rights as soon as they read you your rights you know what i'm saying tell them no i do not want to talk i plead the fifth i want to talk to my lawyer and when the homie laced me up on this, uh, I had no idea at the time that it would end up being something that was crucial, like something that would end up helping me, something that would end up basically saving my ass because I'm a young ass kid, you know what I'm saying? Easily tripped up the whole nine or whatever, right? So later on, I ended up getting arrested, you know what I'm saying, throughout my gangbang career. And I done got arrested from petty ass shit, from breaking into cars all the way up to being a suspect in a murder, attempted murders, and all that, right? And because I was so young, these detectives, they automatically thought off top that once they got me that I was gonna start testifying or start giving up information or start telling. And to their surprise, as soon as they got me, I, I told them, oh, read me my rights. And once they read me my rights, I told them, I don't wanna talk, I plead the fifth, I wanna talk to my lawyer, and they were shook, like they were surprised. They couldn't believe that I, being a little 10 year old kid, 11 year old kid would know something like that. And especially when they had me for like murder cases, attempted murder cases, they they were adamant. They're like, they were like, you know what I'm saying? 
tunnel vision focused on getting me to make a confession, tunnel vision focused on tripping me up the whole nine, not knowing that I knew my rights, you feel me? I mean, they literally took me down to the station, took me into the uh, investigate, interrogation room, and literally didn't remember my rights. You feel what I'm saying? And that's how crooked these cops were until I brought it up myself. And once I brought it up, I said, look, man, I, I don't want to talk to y'all. I want to talk to my lawyer. I plead the fifth. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying shit else. Y'all heard my rights. Put that shit on record. You know what I'm saying? This shit's being recorded the whole night. And I done beat, you know what I'm mean? saying, several murder cases, attempted murder cases, major cases, all because I knew my rights. Now, you think about it like there's innocent people locked up right now who didn't know their rights, who were just out there living their life where they were square bear or where they're in the game, where they're thugging or just a regular civilian. They didn't know their rights and they went in and got interrogated. And what happened as a result, they ended up making a false confession or they ended up admitting to a crime which they shouldn't have did, which gave the police evidence to convict them. You look at what, the Central Park Five, they were all kids, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't heard of them, look up their story. There's a movie about them. They're all kids not knowing what was going on, thinking that these police and detectives could be trusted, and they ended up making false confessions, and they didn't even do the crime, you feel me? But they ended up confessing to these crimes because these police, their tactics, and their, their skilled and their professionals in doing this. They're professionals in tripping you up. They're, they know what they're doing. They could give a fuck if you did it or not. They just trying to get a conviction, especially a high profile case, especially if you're a minority. They don't give a fuck about you. They'll throw your life away quick and in a hurry. So if they don't give a fuck about you, you got to give a fuck about yourself. And you got to know your rights. There's many, 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 many people who are locked up right now who are wrongly convicted, who are sitting in prison right now because... They didn't know their rights. And all they had to do was say, read me my rights. I plead the fifth. I don't want to talk. I want to talk to my lawyer. And I'm going to tell y'all this one more time so y'all can get it in your heads and not forget. If you ever get arrested off top, tell the police, read me my rights. Once they read you your rights, which would be like you have the right to remain silent, whatever you say or do can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present. You feel me? You hear that shit? Well, after they get done reading that, reading your rights, that's your Fifth Amendment rights. What they're reading right there is your right to remain silent, your Fifth Amendment rights. You tell them, no, I do not want to talk. I want to talk to my lawyer. Boom. And from there on out, don't say shit. If they keep on trying to question you, tell them again, I don't want to talk. I plead the Fifth. I want to talk to my lawyer. And trust and believe, even after you tell them this shit, they'll be like, Cops who don't give a fuck and still try to question you, and I've been through it. So you guys got to be like a straight dickhead with them. Like, look, motherfucker, I don't want to talk. I plead the fifth. I want to talk to my lawyer. You feel me? And then if they have, like, a recorder on, make sure that shit is on record. Make sure you record that shit. You know what I'm saying? Say it over and over again. They have the right to ask you your name, your address, your fucking age shit like that right you got you can answer those questions as, but as far as anything that has to do with your case no they have no rights to ask you about that shit after you plead the fifth and after that just shut your mouth don't say nothing and i'm telling you this is like major game that the world is lacking that a lot of people are out there sleeping on they just going about their daily lives criminal lives civilian lives i don't give a fuck what kind of life you're living if you're a square bear or if you're a gangster you need to know about this plead the motherfucking fifth if you ever get arrested and i'm gone